Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is insane, bro. How much? How much this weight? Welcome back with Riding with Anthony. Today's an exciting episode. We're here in Voro Motors. Tell me where we are, Rico. That's right. We're on 39th and 2nd Avenue in Industry City, Sunset Park, Brooklyn, New York. Anyways, if you guys made it this far, please subscribe to the channel. Any questions or concerns, share that in the comment section. No nose dive. No nose dive. Excellent scooter. Wow. And that's how you do a test run. You said you're a technician here, right? Yeah, what I, got, I got about three years in. Oh, cool. Um, what kind of repairs do you do? Everything. Everything? Everything. Oh, man. What's, what's the most common repair? Yeah, what's the most common? Repair? Yeah. The common repair is basically uh, things with the E-Move Cruiser. Because when you purchase the E-Move Cruiser, we tell customers to basically tighten up this, uh, keep an eye on this folding mechanism because it's held in by three screws on each side. Mm -hmm. So periodically you got to tighten them up, but they don't. So sometimes you might get some damage in this area. This, this screw will break. So that's predominantly it, and flat tires. Okay. Do you want, so is it like a, is it a hex key? Yeah, it's a three millimeter. Mm -hmm. Alright, so just monthly maintenance, basically. Pretty that's much. All we gotta do pretty much. I mean, you know, the streets in New York are very good. Forever, forever, we ride forever, ever. No matter what the rain, sun, whichever endeavor. Yeah. We put in the effort, yo, we got miles delivered. Uh -huh. Whenever it's better, boy, from Bodega to Sender. Word. Moving the scooter to maneuver through the sewers, Uber. Eat. Doing a group ride, A to B, I aim to be a straight shooter. <laughs> On the streets, I roll the dice, giving greens to ice, bringing beans to rice. Walk the moldy, I seal uh -huh. the tight, you don't yeah. pick it up, I'ma yeah. eat tonight. On the greenway, doing me thanks, my freeway. Uh -huh. Go pro hey, guys, the handlebars close up just like this. The stem right here where the folding mechanism is. So I just like push that. it in. Then, just as simple as lifting it. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he says like 35 pounds? 39 pounds. 39? Uh huh. Can I? Okay. Oh my god, it's like a little suitcase. Exactly. Oh, really? It's so convenient. You never think you can't reach this. What's on the wheel size? Is 10 inch? 8 inch. 8 inch. 8 inch. Okay. So it's going to be a solid rear tube, uh, rear tire, uh -huh. and then it's going to be a pneumatic tubeless tire on the front. Got it. Okay. Right. Okay. So two different tires. Very simple. Just hit the latch. Bro, this is the tank. It's, it really is. I mean, I love the stand. I got this thing about kickstands. I don't know why. I like this. <laughs> never go wrong. This is pretty dope, guys. Yo, you know what I love about this? I, I love gold and black as my favorite color. So, like, by far, this is the best looking scooter I've ever seen. Yo, it's a beautiful, Here. it's a beautiful scooter, though. This Not a lie, black so and gold. Beautiful. Like, these two just colors alone. Oh my God. I mean, I I love to be a straight shooter. On the streets, I roll the dice. Give me to ice, bring a bean to rice. Walk the boat, we got seal the tight. Come on, the touring, man. No, the cruiser. The cruiser, man? Are you serious? Go with the, go with the city, man. But we just gotta have our first gear. What's the top speed this goes again? 40. What's the first gear on? <laughs> Is the first gear on 20? <laughs> Yo, um, Rican. Oh, one advice I'm gonna give you. Why don't you ride it first? Because I mean, you already even have the helmet. Come on. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Yeah, you're in mode one. I'm on mode one? Yeah, you're in mode one. Okay. It's a little torquey, but it takes off easy. Yeah. All right. You'll be fine. I don't bro. ever do finger shit, so pause. But we're gonna see. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Shit the fuck? Oh hell no. I need to tell this guy to stop because then. Yeah, yeah he, he has to go around two more times. Maybe. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> My turn. <bro. laughs> You know, um, he rolled my, my Eagle Pro for the first time when I first got it. And he's like, oh, hell no, I cannot do finger. I can never do finger throttle. Yeah, he's big on the, he looks the pretty comfortable on Yeah, that, he looks pretty comfortable. Like a, yeah. Right on like a pro. Yeah. The scooter doesn't look too bad though. Yeah. 
So like my first time riding this, won't lie to you, not a fan. But that's because also I don't, I don't do finger throttle that well. And that kick is fucking ridiculous, son. And yeah, I'm on gear one. I know I'm pussy, but Jesus Christ. What are the, like the hardest repair you do? It's a good question. The hardest repair would probably be things like wiring. Oh, wiring. the controller, stuff like that? I'll show you something if you guys oh, come in the back. Yeah. We took it apart because the wires just kind of got cut. So instead of getting him a new motor, we just got, went ahead and soldered. Oh my some new God! Wires. I could just imagine the repair on that. But oh my God, that's the that's like the worst. Um, yeah, wiring, yeah, wiring is definitely that is the worst one. Definitely bad. But um, Holy shit. the the point of the point of it is that we're trying to also save the customer money. Yeah. Because it's gonna cost way more for him to get a new motor because these wires, mm -hmm. you know, the motor is still good. We so we saved it. How long would you think this would like? This, this job probably uh two hours the two one, hours bro yeah. for everyone that doesn't do this type of shit like me i'm, a, I'm just a common person you know what yeah. i'm saying like two hours how how much of a headache is that it is a big headache i've yeah. seen those i've seen those um those on um, repairs and people just give up on him but he, mr hugh he doesn't give up he puts in the work, man. Yeah. I never see nobody fix that. Everybody just like you just, just buy a new motor. Just buy a new motor. Holy yeah, shit. Wow. That's, that's what differentiates Vora Motors with everybody else. Because also, nah, also guys, the suspension. Spring I, want you, I want you to see, see the suspension. Some scooters, when you, when you press the brake, when you hit the front brake, you'll nosedive. This suspension, it doesn't allow you to nosedive. What? The, the, the scooter stays firm oh. and stable and upright. So this is a big, and it's adjustable. Right. You can turn it left or right to uh, soft and hard. Oh, really? These are the hybrid tires I'm telling you about. They're pretty good as well. Nice. Newly designed um, fender. fender, you know, back and front. Charging ports are right here. I love it. They're a little different than the other ones. Wow, look at fine and no rubber. No rubber right. pieces. This and you know what the best part about this too is, is that mechanism. all the other charges will be so close to the foot, so like you would kick that shit off and then you could get yeah. all the grime in there. This is out of the way. Yeah. Right, right. But look at the lights. Let, at, it, let me ride it, man. Look at the like, swag lights. The swag, the swag, swag lights. All right, we're in gear too, right? Yeah. What I love it, you guys, that you finally can see what gear you want, like really bright. I know, yeah. Yeah, you, um, what else? It tells you what the lights, the lights is on, right? Yeah, nice. yeah, there's another mode you can go into. It'll tell you the temperature of the motors. Oh, wow, thermal, yeah. thermal, um, yeah, thermal, like, um, thermal, whatever the hell this shit is. Yeah, thermal, some shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you know when you're in dual, or dual and single? So, so to put this in dual motor or single motor, oh, dual motor right there. It's you see the display right here, mm -hmm. but you're gonna hit the plus button. Hold it down. No, oh, now it's back single. to single. Hold it again, back in dual. Nice little display. That's I love it. Cool. Damn, bro. When is mini motors is gonna do a display oh, like this? Cool. All right, man. Let's test these bad boys out right here. All right. We're in gear two, dual motor. Wow. Already, already the suspensions. I'm, I, I'm loving it. Oh wow. Wow, you guys, the suspensions are so, so good on these. I love the suspensions and the brakes too. Wow, this is the scooter, bro. This suspension is nice. This suspension is so good. I was hopping on purpose just so I could like, just feel it. It feels yeah. so dope. Wow. I love that you could adjust the suspension on how like hard or, hard soft. or soft. Better than the to. touring, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it is. It is a, like they say in the, like the, the old saying, um, you get what you pay for. You Can I pick it up? Of course. Yeah, let's let's pick it up, you guys. Oh yeah. The lift test, lift test, let's standardized. See five flights with these. This is our SATs, standardized I can, I can lift tell test. You the best way to lift that too. Right. Oh, okay, bet. I mean for the the fender, the fender bar, or the back piece. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's exactly how I would lift it. Yeah. Wow. Six you flights. Capture this in the hard cam right there, Nyar. This weighs 75? 74. 75, 74, 75, yeah. So this weighs 75. Four. 
around this feels like almost like the like the eagle pro almost like the eagle pro like a little bit slightly it's heavy. hard to tell the difference it's hard to tell the difference yeah yeah wow but this scooter i love the suspensions on this the torque there's no torque at all it feels really good it feels like it feels like a gas scooter almost like i don't know i don't know if i could like i don't know how to describe it it's it's smooth it's, smooth. it's just smooth it's just like smooth. whatever that ha whatever happens in the city you eliminate 60 percent of the problems with this so it's like the potholes the ditches all that yeah, shit the only smooth. thing you got to worry about is the people the sine wave controllers you know, it, the sine wave controllers they operate like uh like almost like a human body yeah what i, what yeah. I mean is that human body we can we can take it up or we can bring it back down right right so the sine wave acts in the same way that was it for the episode we enjoyed so much i just want to thank everybody in Vora motors for opening their doors to us and let us you know test out their rides their scooters um anything you want to say bro before we yeah. get out of here yeah thank you to the people that actually came in came to the Vora motors that were subscribed to us aiden l thank you shout out to you thank you for um letting us you know interact with you and thank you uh sandman especially and thank you for the um for the gifts and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, shout, shout out to Huey and Ryan for letting us test exactly. ride their school. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, on to the next one, Friday with that. A special guest delivering with us today. Say hello to the Dark Knight himself. Batman. Hello, everyone. We're gonna do Uber Eats. Gotham City's gonna get it. Batman eyes, but the Batman of Dark Knight. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how we go in this crazy concrete jungle. Anyways, if you made it back. Come on, come on. Keep going, keep cut keep it, going, cut it, cut it. No, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. Anyway.